What is up, my legion of leasers, my army of apartment maniacs? Yes, I'm in the car. I just was pulled in the office. And coincidentally, I got a text message with a video from my good buddy David over at Ready Carpet. You got to love the team at Ready Carpet. They're always thinking, how can our clients do better? How can we all get better as an industry? David's got a great question regarding bringing some more life, bringing some more personality, bringing some more customer centricity. Ooh, that's a big word into our virtual tours. I'm going to, I'm going to jump out of the car here. Let me let David get to his question and then I will get you a video with the answers on virtual tours. Take it away, David. Hey Matt, it's your buddy, David from Ready Carpet. Hope that you're doing well. Matt, in speaking with some of my customers and potential customers, it seems like we feel like we're losing a bit of that personal touch uh, being that we're having to do so many virtual tours and self-guided tours. I was wondering if you happen to have any tips, do's or don'ts as it relates to virtual tours and self-guided tours. Thanks so much for your feedback. Let's face it, virtual tours and virtual leasing, they're here and they're here to stay. Some of us kind of have fought that a little bit, but I think all of us in general are like, hey, we've got to get on board with virtual leasing. Now, there's a right way to lease apartments virtually, and there's a not so right way. If you've got a question that you want me to answer on this channel, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit notifications so you can see my video answer to you. And also, now would be a great time to smash that like button. It really helps out the algorithm. It helps people just like you find the channel. How do we make virtual as effective as in person? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna give you exactly seven tips that are gonna help you. And if you guys find any of these tips, hel tips helpful, please smash that like button. Tip number one, when it comes to leasing virtually, and this is the mistake that a lot of us make, we jump right into that virtual presentation without really understanding our prospect's biggest reason for moving. Remember that, nobody shops for an apartment for fun. It's a lot easier for us when we're in an in-person setting to have that dialogue, to really kind of understand what's going on in their life. What does their current situation look like and what's their ideal scene? When we figure that out in person, it's easy for us to build value in our community. I want to make sure virtually that you're understanding. It can be as simple as asking them, hey, before we start the virtual tour, help me understand what's your biggest reason for moving, right? You can be collaborative, you can be constructive, but understand what's their biggest reason for moving, what's most important to them, why is that important to them, right? Understand what they wanna see first on that virtual tour. But tip number one, before you show them anything, you need to understand why they're moving in the first place. Tip number two when it comes to virtual tours, be the expert. Be the expert on the phone so that your prospects will defer to you. I want you to think about that. When you're in the presence of an expert, what do we do when we're working with a doctor, with a lawyer, with an architect? Anybody who's an expert in their field, we tend to defer to that person. We give that person control, right? So I want you to put your doctor hat on when you're talking to that person before the virtual tour, right? Figuring out what's important to them. Really diagnose the situation. You're gonna find that the better you understand them and the more that you project, hey, you called the right person, we're gonna go through a virtual tour. Let me ask you a few questions before we get started on that so that I can tailor the tour just for you. When you're acting and sounding like an expert, they're gonna give you control. They're gonna let you drive. The last thing you want is a really a self guided virtual tour where they're just kind of wandering around virtually without any rhyme or reason. You as the expert need to take control and when you project that, that you are the expert, they're going to give you that control. Tip number three, I want you to script out your virtual tour and I want you to pre-frame with your prospect before you do the virtual tour. Here's what I mean by that. Tracy, you told me the kitchen was vital to you. So on this virtual tour, on the particular floor plan that we're gonna look at, I'm gonna show you the kitchen first. Then we're gonna look at the living space because I know that was vital to you. And then also you had some questions about the dog park. 
I want to show you the dog park area virtually as well. So you're going to script out. We're going to see this first, this second, this third, right? And then we're going to pre-frame by telling our prospect what we're going to show them. Tip number four, I want you to keep your virtual tours to three to five stops maximum. We tend to make the mistake in virtual tours of trying to show our prospects too much. What this does is it leads to a virtual tour that either takes way too much time or we end up speaking way too quickly, right? We're trying to force things down their throat. I want you to figure out by being that expert, what are the two to three things that are most important to them? Show them those two to three things and then verify with them that everything meets their need. So let's make sure that we curate and tailor that virtual tour to that prospect and keep it to a maximum of three to five virtual stops during that tour. Tip number five, when you're touring virtually, I want you to check in with that prospect, whether you're talking to them on the phone or if it's a self-guided tour, make sure you check in with them afterwards. Did everything that you see meet your needs? Was there anything you were hoping to see that you didn't? Is there anything that I can show you that you failed to see on the tour? Make sure that you're checking in with them and asking them, hey, does all that match what you need? Did everything, I know you said the kitchen was important to you. We took a look at the kitchen. Does that kitchen meet your needs? Make sure you are checking in with them. Oftentimes we forget to do this and there may have been something that the prospect had a question on or didn't see. Hey, can you text me a photo of the countertops? I can't remember what the color of the countertops were. Check in with them and make sure they've received all the information that they needed. Tip number six, and this has everything to do with the space right here between your ears. I want you to be confident that you can close the lease virtually, especially for a lot of us that have been in the industry for a long time. We tend to get some anxiety and think, ah, there's no way I'm going to get this lease unless they're physically here. Why would anybody lease an apartment physically sight unseen. Well, guess what? They're doing it every day. We're training people at Leasing University every day how to get these leases virtually. I need you to have that confidence that you can do it. If nothing else, I'm telling you right now as the king of leasing, you can do this. You can close leases virtually. The first step to doing it is to have that positive mindset that this deal is going to happen. I'm, of course I'm able to close this apartment virtually. Lastly, and probably most importantly, and this would be a good time to smash that like button. Tip number seven, I want you to go for the close each and every time you conduct a virtual tour. Now remember, you can close without being pushy, without being pressure, without being manipulative. Say things like, hey, this was a fantastic tour. Did you see everything you were looking for? Yeah, yeah, I did, I really liked it. Does it make sense to sign the lease? Make sure that you're giving every prospect an opportunity to shut this deal down, to lease that apartment, to unburden themselves with this, hey, where am I gonna live? They want to make a decision. Nobody shops for an apartment for fun. By asking for the close in the right way, you can be constructive, you can help them, you can avoid being pushy or manipulative. But the last thing I want you to do is go through all of this effort of curating this wonderful virtual tour and then just hoping that the lease closes itself. You've got to make an effort to go for the close and I want you to do it every time you show somebody an apartment virtually. I hope this tips helps. I hope you've subscribed to the channel. I hope you've smashed that like button and if you have any questions at all, I'm here for you. Until the next video, be great and get those leases. The way people rent apartments has changed. Today's renter has access to more information. Today's renter has more choices. The apartment industry needs you. Studies have shown that moving is the most stressful life event. The old sales training, well, it just doesn't work today. I'd like to teach you how to take the stress out of leasing apartments in a way that's meaningful to you and your renters and get you seven times more leases. I'll show you how the perfect leasing process works. I'm gonna walk you through everything from answering the phone to closing the lease. I'm gonna show you how to determine your prospect's wants and their needs 
so that you can build value in your apartments. You will learn how to handle any objection or complaint. I'm gonna show you how to connect with your renter so it's easy for them to rent with you. I've taught the best property management companies and thousands of people just like you how to lease apartments. Property management is complicated. I'll simplify it for you. There's more competition than ever before. I'm gonna show you how to be number one. All of a sudden, your career, it's gonna make perfect sense. Even if you've never worked in sales or property management before. And for the advanced property manager, I'm gonna show you how to take things to the next level. Leasing University is a new, simple, step-by-step -step process that's effective. We're gonna help you become a rock star in property management. I'm Matt Easton, and this is Leasing University.